Hi, my name is Florence. I'm from Nichols Church. I came here uh, yesterday. I was very sick. I, um, they laid hands over me and um, prophesied um, things that I never told anyone. Things to do with my childhood. And they told me that uh, that was the root of my illness. And um, they prayed with me to let go of the stuff that I've been holding on to. And um, this last night, the, you know, I didn't sleep well, but I kept believing that I was healed. And I said I was going to come back today. And I came and I said I wanted more of the Holy Spirit. And I got filled up and I don't really love it. And today I loved so much and I got so much energy and I'm healed completely inside and outside. I just feel so much joy and I just want to thank God for everything. Um, I just sat in the back and talked to Lil. Um, it's like, she so asked me how I was feeling, it's like it's like there's a the cloud, something's heavy is pressing on me. Well, it's, it's always been there. It's like, you know, everything that happened, it was always there. And um, I told her, all my life, I felt I wasn't worth it. If my parents don't love me, then I must have been an awful person. And I felt I was damaged good. So I wasn't ready for anything. And so she kept praying for me. And all of a sudden, like, see, it's kind of like a cocoon and it's opening up. And it's this beautiful light coming out. And it's all gold and yellow. And as she got putting on a rope around me, white. And you can actually hear it. Come on. You're my beloved child. Wow. So she's asking me, how are you feeling? Because I start. <laughs> I got smiling and I said, this is what happened. So, and I think, God wants that for you too. He loves you so much. And he wants that to have that freedom. Because no matter what life is taught you, no matter what your parents tell you, you are so loved. My name is Lina. I come from Zimbabwe. And when I come here, I got a trip, which is painful. And when I get prayed, the truth is moved. And the other thing, I couldn't forgive my mother in law for past 20 years. They were fighting for me, they didn't want to stay with their son. But I thank God today, I felt to forgive them. If I am I didn't if they were home, I have to pray and ask for forgiveness for them. Okay, so I just prayed for someone and she was in a lot of pain in, in a lower knee and I just said, like, Lord, just come and I just felt a knee, uh, kneecap pop back three times. It was so amazing and yeah, she started weeping and just she was actually singing out to God in that moment, so it was just amazing to feel that actually pop underneath my hand. It's like, oh, Jesus, it's so good. Yeah. Oh, okay. His name is Pilasani. He had a bad toothache. Then he heard um, a message saying that he needs to come at the front for healing. Then he approached one of the um, Bethel team members and um, approached him and asked if he could get prayers from this particular person. And then um, the, the person prayed for him, for his truth, and he got healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Witness. Witness, yeah. His name is Witness. Um, witness, what did God me do for that for that? That he, he says that his back was healed today. Why? Be it your, your, your rug heel. Rug him on. Was it good? Yeah, he says God healed his back today. Amen. He came in with a sore back and now it's healed. Yeah? My name is Natalie. I had a pain in my foot for some time. And God healed me tonight. Amen. Uh, my name is Tobogaz. I was struggling with my legs uh, when I'm trying to walk. Sometimes I give up. So God healed me today. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Yana. I had a sinus 
my nose was blocking, but now it's better. I don't feel the blocking of the nose. Jesus will me and thank you. My name is Muzeni Machola. Uh, I thank God for everything you've done for me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I had a pain. Uh, my my spinal cord was a problem uh, because I was working somewhere, working with the heavy stuff. But now I'm healed in the name of Jesus Christ. I feel free. I thank God for His mercy. I have a back pain and then I got the prayer, but now it's gone. Amen. I had a pain in my left ankle, so after she prayed for me, the Lord has The pain is gone. I'm, I'm Pastor Mahola Saka. I came here with my knee, with my right knee. And basically, you, you pray to me. What's your name again? It's Kim. You keep praying to me, and then you can continue. Thanks for that. Sir, what's your name? I pray for the sick people. Do you believe that Jesus is going to heal him? Yes. Come on. Sir, what's your name? I want you to lay hand on his leg right now. I'm not gonna pray, he's just gonna pray. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Alright, just pray right now. I command this pain to get out right now. In the name of Jesus. Be healed. Come on. Come on, it's why he's dropping a cube. It's not even a prayer because Jesus had paid it already. Come on. So I to walk. Look at me, it's just going to walk in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> She's name is Emma and she came today. She's got an asthma problem and they prayed for her today. And the moment that they said Amen, the asthma went. The moment she said Amen, the asthma was gone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My name is Lydia. I've got a problem of big ache. So now it's gone. That time you say Amen and the pain is gone. Yeah. Her name is Moika um, Sukalo. We have been in Togo. She had a headache. And there's another long of Mindana Tom Balayente. She was prayed by a girl called Balayente. And then I don't go. She says that she doesn't have a headache anymore. She's totally healed after the girl prayed for her. Thank you, God. I'm Nungulego. Her name is. I was a headache, but now it's gone. She had, her name is Nonkuleko. She had a headache and she says that the headache is gone. My name is Nonutando. I have pain on my stomach. So when the people are praying for me, so it's where the pain are relieved. So I feel so fine now. Everything is good. I'm here at the Bethel Supernatural Conference. And I'd like to testify about my arms that I believe the Lord has healed. I've been waking up in the morning and I've had quite a lot of stiffness and, and pain in my arms and um, now I can move them, it's, it's really awesome. Good day, my name is Olivia. Uh, in the service this afternoon, uh, him prayed for me. I, have, I had a problem with my ring fingers. Every finger linked to my ring finger uh, was in uh, badly rest and I couldn't bend my fingers and after the prayer, it just got it. I'm very grateful. Thank you, Jesus. Hi, I'm Alfred Tom. I'm from George in Cape Town. I just make a, let them pray for me today for the shoulder. I was sitting with this problem for almost two years. And just for in two seconds time, God healed this problem today in church. And I thank God for it. Really, I, I believe in God. But uh, as a summoner of the supernatural, and this morning and last night I woke up with severe pain in my ankle, and I can't move it because it goes. <laughs> and I used to run a lot, and then I had to stop because of this, and I started again, and I had pain. 
but when he asked, can we just pray for you? And I wasn't even praying for, that's a miracle, and now I'm healed and I can, I have completely no pain in Jesus' name. Okay. Yeah. My name is Amos Moyegwa, the pastor of the church, I mean the, the pastor of this church. You know, this morning I felt the stomach ache was bothering me the whole day. But as they lay hands upon me, I'm, I got healed. I was afraid, but now it's gone. It was a serious pain, but now that pain is gone. My name is Tyler. Um, my testimony is about I always get migraines, and I had one lot this night, and they pray for me, and it, it was healed. My head is healed. Hello, my name is uh, Karen. I'm here at the Supernatural Seminar at the uh, Shofar. And um, while they were praying for me, I well, I actually had a, a pain in my uh, left. It's like, must be my left ovary. And um, I'm sure that pain caused the pain in my lower back and in my right leg. And just after they prayed for me, actually while they were busy praying, it's like, someone just grab that pain away or take it away it's like it's like just indescribable i couldn't i i didn't know what happened to me i was in tears because i could felt just like it's like something were pulled out of me and the pain is gone thank god hallelujah this is mina she lives here in toys and how old you mina Seven. She's 37 years old, but this photo. Okay, she's had swelling in her stomach, and it is, was it here? Why is it And it is causing a lot of pain and discomfort in her stomach. And then it's an after a bit. And they prayed for her tonight. And then, and Sarah prayed for her, and who I know? Pain is gone. Painful burning sensation, and also I couldn't move my toe, my big toe around at all. And, and now I'm, I've, I've done everything I could think, and there's no pain. Yeah! yeah. Woo! I'm new to the years of pain in the bed. Every time when I'm awake, the pain is there, but today the pain is gone. I'm feeling 100 100%. So the court healed me today. Um, can you show us what you couldn't have done before? I cannot do like this right now. Wow! So I'm feeling very well. Praise Jesus! <laughs> oh, you guys, look at the oh. difference. Okay, so sure. this is why he needs his stick. When he, when this leg grows out, everybody watch here if you've never seen a miracle. When this leg grows out, he will not need this crutch anymore. Yes. We command this leg to grow right now in Jesus' name. Yes. Stretch out your hands. Oh, there it goes. I can feel it. There it oh. goes. <laughs> All of it. Jesus. All grow of it. in Jesus' name. Whoa. We just released the healing grow out power in of Jesus God. Name. Grow. There it is. Thank you, Jesus. Grow. There it is. Say grow, <laughs> kids. Sir. Grow. He <laughs> felt it. Grow. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Grow. Thank you, Jesus. Grow. Thank you, Jesus. Grow. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Look at him go. Wow. He's just scared. Look at him go. Praise God. Look at him go. Bless Thank you, you bless Jesus. You, <laughs> he's not using his walking stick. He's just carrying it. Okay, I'm with the arthritis. I was having a pain inside my arm. So when I was working with patients, I all the I all get all the time so pains inside my arm. So. When they were praying for me, I was feeling something was working inside my arm and it was going out. So now I can do anything. The pain is gone. There's no pain anymore. It's almost finished. Hello, my name is Kwaida. I went here today. I had chest pains for months on. But in the name of Jesus, children of God prayed for me and I received healing. And thank you, Jesus. Amen. My name is John. I'm I'm from um, LMK Ministries. 
and I had a problem for many years. Before I was married, I have a problem with my stomach. It feels like I am, it grows. It feels like I am pregnant. And I feel movements inside of me. And tonight when Caleb pray for me, I feel something happen. It feel warm inside of my stomach. And I say, thank you, Lord. And, 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 and after that, I feel that it's ne it, it, is ne it is not the same. It's like gone. It's, it's gone. gone. It's gone. Yes. Come on. Yes. Thank yes. you, yes. Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Be blessed. Thank you, Amen. What did God do? Yeah, I think like my choice that for two weeks in my family. Still um like when seeing my parents are moving, I feel like it's like it feels like the dog. Yeah. I feel happy. Wow. So you had terrible neck wow. pain. I feel sorry, I can't feel it. I, I I don't know, I don't know what to say, but I don't feel anything. So show me what you couldn't do. Show me what you can do now. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Come on, hallelujah. And uh, I'm here at the seminar for Supernatural. And God really touched me. I have pain in my back and in my hip. And down in, it started to get down in my knee for about four months now. And I can't sit or bend over or anything. And praise God, <laughs> oh, they prayed for me, and I can't move my legs. <laughs> I can start dancing with the Lord. <laughs> praise God. Yeah. Um, I just want to testify of the healing that happened two years ago. I was five days saved. I came to a Bethel meeting, and I've been struggling with a condition um, of uh, near chronic heartburn, and for 15 years, someone prayed for me and. Yeah, the next day I stopped having heartburn and I've been healed for two years. So it's, so it's not just something that happened and something that left, but this healing is constant and it changed my, my life completely. I, I played soccer with my son about four years ago and I tore a groin muscle. And um, basically every time I ran, I could feel it. It was still hurting and I got prayed at the Bethel Supernatural uh, seminar. Like I've prayed for just now and it is completely gone. I can actually stretch now that I couldn't do it. So, it's awesome. God is awesome. Wow. Yeah. About five years I've been struggling with this pain in my lower back. I've been to the doctor. He said the, something about pads that have been getting worn out. And I couldn't sleep properly. I couldn't bend over properly. But today the Lord healed me. He touched me really. In, and whatever I couldn't do before, I can do it now. And I praise the Lord for that. Um, it's really weird. My whole life I've had a stupid skin condition where my skin was really dry and it's really painful, whatever. So uh, someone was praying for me just now and while they were praying for me, I could actually feel my skin go all smooth. And um, I looked down and it was just gone. Like, it was just gone. I completely freaked out. The Lord is so amazing. <laughs> this is Andres. Uh, and uh, he uh, has been walking with a crutch for the last 20 years. And uh, I know Andres, you can stop, man. You can walk. I just want to stop it. Soon, like Andres, I just want to stop it. He's going to show us how he's walking without a crutch. After 20 years, he hasn't been able to walk. He hasn't been able to walk without a crutch. He's been walking tonight without a crutch consistently. He hasn't st wanted to stop walking. Andres, how old is your Andres? Uh, 61. He's 61 years old. Wow. Yeah, starting to stretch to the back, to the arm, shoulder. Yes, my legs, yeah. so my tummy. Your tummy? Your right. Ankle, your elbow. Yeah. yeah, just, yeah, bless the stomach as well right now in Jesus' name. Oh, just thank you for just the full body renewal right now in Jesus' name. Can you try it out? <laughs> How are you doing? I feel great. Whoa! <laughs> what are you feeling? Oh, thank you. Fine. Fine. You're good. You're okay? Okay? Yes. Are you feeling yeah. anything else? Like kind of... Look at you. Look at you. That's good. Cool. <laughs> But, what is that? Wow. No, it's, then it goes, it's that you can't move it because oh, of my fingers. Yeah. So like your hands like were this. cramped before? Mm, yes. But yes. now they're not cramped. I feel nothing. How's your back? 
Ich habe das Gefühl, muss ich ja fies. Ja. Ja, 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 ja. Komm an. Ist es besser? Oh mein Gott. Oh. Was ist das? Was ist das? Stomach causing you pain too? So, how is your stomach doing? I feel no pain. No pain. Oh, no. You said, what about your knees? No pain. No. So, so you can do this, no pain. Yes. Yes. Enrica, Jesus loves you. Thank you very much. My name is Enrica Erasmus. I was in an accident in 1995. It's now about 20 years. <laughs> I feel so, I can't uh, explain, I feel so strong, <laughs> when you come in, you, when you come now in the house, eh? I was full of pain and my mom is full of pain and wow, I had a necklace on, can I show you? <laughs> I had a necklace on and when you pray for me, I it's all when I <laughs> I can scream now! <laughs>
Jesus, we thank you so much for your mighty power. We thank you for your Holy Spirit that lives within inside us. We thank you that you're here tonight right now, Jesus. And God, right now, I ask that you would shift every single impossible situation that there may be. Every single sickness that they found, we cast you out. We declare healing in Jesus' name right now. I'm so excited, Alicia, that God is actually pouring out. He's opened up, He's opened up the windows of heaven and outpouring blessings on you. And everyone else listening right now, if you just want to receive that in faith, God wants to do that for each and every one of you right now, that you would have more than enough. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Amen. How many of you know that when you have a thought in your head that condemns you about something in your past, it is not Jesus Christ. Come on. It is not Jesus Christ. Because there is now therefore no condemnation. Heilige Gies, kom! There's no need of performance. It's, it really is all His grace. Like mm -hmm. It's incredible. We don't have to do anything. I mean, it's already done. We just yield our hearts to Him and He's going to breathe on yes. everything we do. Yeah. Yes. He, wants to, he wants to see stuff happen through us. So we just commit our hearts to Him. Commit our, the work of our hands to him, and he's gonna, uh, he's gonna breathe. Day. We are preparing food right now to bring out to the town people. They're gonna be blessed. This food's gonna be multiplied. Yeah. It's gonna make the widow's heart sing. <laughs>
us to the blind right now. So we're gonna go and we're gonna go pray for the blind. We're gonna go pray for a blind woman because the town's hearing about how Jesus is healing people. And so the kids are gonna go pray for this blind woman. And she's gonna see, it's gonna be awesome. We command this leg to grow right now in Jesus' name. Yeah. Stretch out your hands. Oh, there it goes. I can feel it. There it oh. goes. <laughs> All of it. Jesus. All grow of it. in Jesus' name. Whoa. We just released the healing grow out power in of Jesus God. Jesus' name. You want this, Jesus? Look at him go. Wow. Just Look at him go. Praise God. Look at him go. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Death is beaten, you have rescued me. Sing it out. Wants to give their life to Jesus today. Yes. yes. This. this is the choice that everyone's making. I can feel him. He's here right now. Yes. Everyone today is giving up their old life. Yes. You're, you're saying today. I don't want to live for myself or the, or the devil. I want to live for God. I want to give my life to Jesus. And when you do this, every demon will come out of you. And the Holy Spirit, God himself, will come into you. And all your sins will be washed away. Okay, let's pray. Everybody lift up your hands to Jesus. How many of you know that a man that a man of God's blessing is greater than a witch doctor's curse? I'm going to say it again. How many of you know that a man of God's blessing is greater than a witch doctor's curse? Shout out hallelujah tonight. It's a revelation of value. Don't share in my voice. If you are sick, come here right now. If you are not here this minute and you walk past, come here. God is healing the sick. Holy Spirit, for a more fit and better, who crown the little crook of a for this. It is impossible to see yourself without first seeing Him. Come on, Aaron. Absolutely impossible to find purpose without first seeing Him. Come on. It's absolutely impossible to have passion without first touching His heart. Absolutely impossible. Everything starts with Him. Everything you are, everything you're made for starts with knowing what He says about you. It starts with what He thinks of you. That's how you start your day. And she said, I have a blind left eye. I have been blind for 50 years, all my life in one eye. And it has been just troubling me. I can't work properly. So just in that instant, like the compassion of God and love of God just came over me. And I gave her a big hug and she fell out in the spirit. And when she got up, she wasn't completely healed yet. There was no change. So I was asking God, what can I do for her? So I heard God say that I want you to kiss the chick and give her a hug. So that is what I did. There was no prayer at all. 
I just gave Whoa. her a chick and I hugged her and she had a new left eye in the inside.